The purpose of this teaching video is to introduce you to the educational tool by the name of Edulastic. Please move down the page until you find the white button that says Edulastic. When you click on Edulastic one time, it's going to open up in a new tab for you. It will show you if you have any assignments that are waiting for you in this specific area right here. I'm going to come over here to where it says quotation mark review and right here in orange it says in progress. Up on the top right it says start assignment. On the left area it shows that it's comparing fractions. I'm going to click right here where it says resume assignment. When I click resume assignment, it takes me right back in to the last question, right where I left off. On the top left, it says save and exit in this black button right here. Please remember that if you are ever going to um, stop working on the assignment, it is important to click this button so that your work is not lost. When you scoot over here to the right, you will notice that it says question 12 of 12. That's letting you know that you're on question 12 and there are 12 total questions. If you click on the pancake, a menu will drop down where you can see each individual question. If you click on any one of those specific questions, it will take you right there to that question in case you skipped it or you knew that you needed to go back to it. Clicking the X will cause this me menu to disappear. Always use quality test taking practices whenever you are using Edge Elastic. It is important that you read through the question carefully. It is important that you read through all answer choices carefully. Please don't just respond impulsively. That means quickly without thinking. Make sure that you clearly think about the best answer possible before clicking on the next button. Now that I have typed my response, based on what the teacher has asked of me, I need four lines of dialogue, I need to follow the rules of quotations, and I should not forget my spacing or punctuation. So I put all that information in there. If I ever click the previous button, that might be a way that I can double check my work before it's time to actually click the submit button. Because once I've clicked the submit button, I will not be able to go back and make any changes. When I'm on this screen, I'm able to evaluate whether or not I have answered all of the questions or if I have any questions that I have flagged. If I have flagged any questions or if I have forgotten to answer any questions, now is the time to make sure that I finish both of those before I officially click the very next submit button. So this is kind of the review page before I actually turn the assignment in. So right down here you see this blue button that says submit. Once I click that particular button, then I'm officially submitting the assignment. Now, please don't be panicked or alarmed in a situation where you see a score that might be concerning to you. Sometimes the teacher has to go in and grade some of those questions before you actually have the final score. You'll notice down here at the bottom of the screen that there are four blue bands. Those four blue bands mean that the teacher needs to go back in and, and score those questions. Edge Elastic wasn't able to do that for your teacher. At the very bottom of the screen down here, the, the key at the bottom defines what green, red, orange, gray, or blue represent. Green means that it's correct. Red means that it's incorrect. Orange means that part of the answer is correct. Gray means that you skipped it. In just a second, I'm going to click on one of these bands so that you can see how Edge Elastic gives you that feedback. It lets you know what the correct answer was, even if you got the question wrong, so that you can learn from that process. So here I am at question two. You see the question listed up at the top. You see the answer choice is down here on the bottom. 
And then this green check mark over here shows me what the correct answer really is. Down at the bottom, I have access to the solution, so I know, oh, that's why this is the correct answer. Over on the top on the right, it shows that I earned one point when only one point was available. On the right hand side, I have a blue half circle, and over on the left, I also have another blue half circle. These blue half circles will let me move through each of the questions so I can gain even more feedback that will help me test better the next time or that will help me understand that concept better. In a situation right here where I'm on question four, you'll notice that I got that one wrong. Instead of a comma, it should have been an exclamation mark because the boy screamed. Ah, oh, that's why I'm supposed to read all answer choices carefully and why I'm supposed to read through the original question slowly. In blue words over here, underneath the number one, it says, show your answer. You can also have the answer revealed to you by clicking on those blue words. Again, this is the process of learning. I'm gonna head over to the dashboard, and when I'm in the dashboard, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how there are other tools and resources. It all just depends on the specific types of questions that are being asked. Here in the math area, uh, when I click inside this long rectangle, I have all these various different buttons to choose from. Sometimes I'm going to be responding with a fraction or a mixed number or uh, an exponent. Uh, it's important that I use any of those buttons in order to answer questions carefully if those uh, specific items are needed. You'll notice here how I'm inside the scratch pad. The scratch pad is a great place to write out my thinking so that I can respond to a math question carefully. Not every question will give you access to a scratch pad, but when you have the scratch pad, I recommend using the scratch pad. On the right hand side over here, um, I have the back button or the trash can. Sometimes if I need to erase any of the content inside of that workspace, I would either use the back button or the trash can. When I am done using the scratch pad, over here on the top on the right inside the red circle is where I would click on that X so that the scratch paper or the scratch pad can disappear and now I have access to the space that would allow me to respond to that question. Sometimes the questions will ask you to highlight or shade in particular spaces. In a situation like that, make sure that you scoot all the way down to the bottom of the screen to make sure that you have searched out and located all of the shapes in question. In a graph or a chart like this, uh, it would be your responsibility to come through uh, and then check the boxes that are most appropriate to answer those questions. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that you enjoy Edulastic.